Sealy against Smith. Seven on the shot clock. Sealy inside. Hammer. They count it. And a foul. Malik Sealy will the foul. Growing up in the Bronx, Malik Sealy gained fame as a lanky 6'7 teenager during a state championship run with Tolan Time back in 1988. His college recruitment was so big, such a big deal, that it was covered by CBS's Dan Rather. It was an even bigger deal when Malik decided to stay home and play for Coach Karnaseka right on Utopia Parkway. One of the best to ever play at St. John's, Malik led the Redmen to the Elite Eight in 91, then he finished with 2,402 points, just 38 behind Chris Mullen's school record. Malik is St. John's all-time field goals and steals leader and scored double-digit points in 102 straight games. That's right, a program record. Malik was drafted 14th overall by the Pacers in the 1992 draft, and he spent two years in Indiana before he was dealt out west to the Clippers in 94 for fellow Johnny, Mark Jackson. How about that? After coming off the bench in Indiana, Malik became a regular in the starting lineup out in L.A. In 1996-97, he pumped in a career-high 14 points, and he led the Clippers to the postseason. That's to use more than one dribble, though. Childs on oh, and puts it in. Silly got the foul. After a disappointing stint with the Pistons, Malik found a home in Minnesota with the up-and-coming T-Wolves in 1999. He became a mentor for talented young T-Wolves like Wally Zerbiak, Joe Smith, and of course, the big ticket, Kevin Garnett. Growing up, KG idolized Malik, and he wore number 21 in high school and in the NBA because it was Sealy's number at St. John's. The T-Wolves created a strong bond. The team won 50 games, finishing third in the Western Conference back in 1999-2000. It was a renaissance year for Malik as he scored 11 points a game, and he posted career highs in both rebounds and assists. He also hit one of the most memorable buzzer beaters in T-Wolves history. On the inbounds, it's Sealy for three, and he hits! With his career back on track, with a team that greatly valued his leadership, Malik Sealy tragically passed away on May 20, 2000, killed by a drunken driver driving on the wrong side of the road. Malik was actually on the way home from Kevin Garnett's 24th birthday party. As you would imagine, the basketball world was shaken. Malik's funeral was attended by over 3,000 people and included a contingent from his alma mater. Of course, Lou Cardaseca delivered a speech from the pulpit. Malik's legacy lives on through his family and friends and his former teammates and clubs. The T-Wolves retired the number two in honor of Malik. His number 21 also hangs from the Raptors at Karnasek Arena. Kevin Garnett and Joe Smith tattooed Malik's name on their arms. Malik's wife Lisa created an AAU team in his namesake. Their son Malik Remington follows in his father's footsteps as a designer. In addition to playing hoops, Malik designed ties and clothing for his own line, Malik Sealy, 21 Incorporated. Malik will be remembered forever for his kindness, generosity, easy smile, and easy swoops to the hoops. Malik Sealy, a winner and a gentleman both on and off the court.